Hiya! I am the walking vegan and I do videos on walking and being vegan because I believe in keeping healthy. So today we're walking from Port Isaac to halfway up to Tintagel. Can you remember the name of the place halfway Jacket up? Point. Jacket Point. So we've parked in the main car park in Port Isaac. That was £6 for 12 hours so I think we'll manage that. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to you later. Good toilets here for 20p a go and later on it looks like there's coffee, cake and ice cream. Oh, so maybe when we get back. <laughs> nice play area if we've got enough energy when we get back. <laughs> a few years ago we stayed in a little cottage just in between those shops along there, which was really nice. It was that little white one there. So now we're going down back hill to pick up the Southwest Coast Path. We had a nice little walk down into Port Isaac and back. So we're hoping to get to Rump's Point. Well, we're hoping to get back to Polseith one day. But on this walk, we're hoping to get halfway between here and Tintagel at Jacket's Point. What a beautiful day it is today. This time next week, it'll be the 1st of November. So we're very lucky with the weather this week, to be honest, because we have had a lot of rain, but we've managed to get quite a lot of walks in in between the rain, or maybe not. If you've seen some of my videos, you'll see that it was raining, but we carried on anyway. But today looks glorious. It's not due to rain until this evening, so let's hope that's right. So we are here, it looks like the footpath used to go through here but it's been boarded off so we're going to go down onto the beach and pick the path up over there. The weather forecast for today is not rain until this evening, but looking at these clouds, I'm not completely convinced. We've got our waterproofs on us anyway, just in case, well not on us, but in our backpacks. Hmm. Yeah, you're weary now, yet I'm still strong 
Okay, so whereabouts are we? I think we've just gone down into this valley here. Okay, so we'll be around about there somewhere. Saint Lips and we're going up to Jackets Point. Might just be on Jackets Point. And where's Port Isaac in relation to all of this? This is where I turn the page the wrong way. There. Yeah, so we've done we've done more than half, I well, think. Well, because that's is there quite an overlap. Oh right, so that's okay. Where I think we are there. So, so maybe not quite half there. there. View for mid morning break. Mid morning break. Homemade fruit cake on this lovely, lovely view. Yum yum yum. Going down into this valley here and then up the other side. like we go up over there this crossing of this little brook might prove difficult No, he's done it. He's expecting me to do that. <laughs> Down the other side, up where that chap is, there's a, looks like a bull, is it a bull or a horse, in the field next door. There's definitely fencing, so that's good. Just another hill to climb.
and another down and up 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 is that going to be Jacket's Point? One of the best picnic spots that we've been on. Really, really nice. And this is Jackets Cove, is it? Oh, yeah. No idea. <laughs> we have no idea, but we're hoping it is. Jackets Point is there. I think. So we went past Crook Moyle Rock. We're in that little cove there, so we think the next one up is Jack's Point. No, this is Jack's Point. I think that's Jack's oh, Point. Oh, right. This, this is, is Jack's, Jack's point. point. We just got to go up the hill to get to where we got yeah, yesterday, whenever it was. Last time. Mm. To get to the halfway point. And for lunch today, we've got short pork bread because we've run out of our own bread with hummus, lettuce and tomato. Yum, yum. So south of Jackets Point is where we stopped for our picnic, sitting on one of those rocks. And now going up to the top of here, we think is where we stopped last time when we came from Tintagel. Our aim was to do half from Tintagel to Jackets Point looked halfway. And then we thought we'd do Port Isaac back to Jackets Point and back. So we still haven't got to the halfway point. I seriously think that we didn't get halfway when we went from Tintagel to Jackets Point because um, this has taken so much longer than the other walk and we have to walk back yet and we've got about six of these up and downs to get back to Port Isaac. So finally we are back at Jackets Point. This is what we thought was the halfway po point between Tintagel and Port Isaac. So we stopped at Jackets Point. But I seriously think from Port Isaac to Jackets Point than from Tintagel to Jackets Point. I'm going to ask Paul. Do you think it's further from Port Isaac to Jackets Point than from Tintagel to Jackets Point. Right, so that's Jackets Point. So yeah. we need to get to Jackets Point North. That's why I'm now going all the way back again. Oh, we're not here. No. Paul has found Jackets Point North, which is the halfway point that we got to the other day, going from Tintagel to Port Isaac. We thought we'd go halfway. And St Jacket's Point North seemed like the halfway point. However, going from Port Isaac to St Jacket's Point North, I think it's further than halfway this way, to be honest. Do you think that this is a bigger chunk than the chunk we did the other day? It's slightly, about, about a mile down to Jacket's Point there. Yeah. So I think maybe it is slightly further, but the, the issue is that is a lot more hilly. So it's a lot more hilly this way, really twisty. So it takes longer. We started at half past nine in the car park at Port Isaac. It's now two o'clock, so going at the same rate, we'll get back to the car by, it's 
dark. I think by then we'll have to see. I won't do any filming or photographs on the way back unless I see something really nice. I will just walk back to the car now.